We have tried to make the heat range as easy to use and intuitive as possible, and we are sure that you will get used to operating it simply through use. However, here are some tips that we hope will help. First of all, we advise you to use protective gloves whenever you are using your appliance. We also advise you to have the right tools to hand. Our recommended lighting method for the heat range is top-down. Simply put a layer of wood or charcoal in the chamber, place kindling on top of this, and then finally two firelighters on top of that. Once the firelighters have caught, lower the baffle down in front of the glass and pull the air control lever to the fully out position. Leave the door ajar for a few minutes until the fire has caught well, before closing. When you light the machine for the first time, you should run the unit for at least 30 minutes at a high temperature, 300 degrees centigrade, prior to cooking, to allow the metal in the appliance to cure. It may produce a slight smell during this process. Using good quality charcoal and kiln-dried wood with a moisture level of 20% or less doesn't just provide a pleasing burn with very little smoke, but it is also better for the environment. Most barbecue cooks choose charcoal or wood for cooking over gas because it imparts more flavor as well as being sustainable, which gas is not. Your heat appliance can do much more than traditional barbecue grilling and can enable you to roast, bake, smoke, wok, cook, and make pizza. If you wish to get the most from your machine, it is worth considering buying a Chesney's wok ring and pizza stone. The more experienced you become, the more different cooking options you are likely to want to try. See the cooking film for more advice on multiple cooking methods. Cleaning between uses is simple and will help ensure that each time you use your appliance, it will operate to its potential. To clean the machine interior after cooking, simply burn charcoal in it with the baffle in the vertical cook position for 15 to 20 minutes at 200 to 250 degrees. Once the machine is cool, before your next use, you can then clean the grill with a wire brush, sweep out the ash from the interior, and finally remove the grate over the ash pan and empty this. Heat is an outdoor machine, and as such requires regular maintenance to ensure it remains in the best condition. Please see the short film on looking after your heat appliance for more details of recommended ongoing care. Heat appliances are easy to use and maintain. However, here are some tips in the event you have any basic operating issues. If the machine is smoking excessively after lighting, which happens occasionally, check that the rain cap has been removed. Check that you are using the right fuel. Wet wood or green wood that has not been kiln dried will smoke. If both of these things are correct and yet the chimney is still smoking, simply close the air control lever up to the notch mark on the lever. This closes off the under air or primary to the furnace, so now only over air secondary is provided. The smoke emissions will settle down soon after this. To rotate the grill, the baffle needs to be in the vertical position. Simply change the baffle position and then try again. The baffle will not rotate if the grill is in the lower position. If you have lowered the grill during cooking and now wish to switch to heat mode, you will need to restore the grill to the higher position before you do so. We hope that this film has been helpful and that it will help you get the most from your heat appliance. We think it will change the way you live outdoors.